In the DJI Fly app, have you ever come across an option called video subtitles and wondered what it does? Well, today in this short two minute video, I'm gonna explain what it does and why it's useful. So let's get going. The video subtitles option is found under settings, camera, advanced shooting settings. And when you switch it on, it's mostly persistent. Now I say mostly because it typically survives reboots and battery swaps, but occasionally it just shuts off for no apparent reason. So if you really need it to be on, check it before you start shooting. Now when you turn this option on, you won't see anything different right away. But behind the scenes, as you record video, camera settings and telemetry data are being embedded in the video file as subtitles. And don't worry, these subtitles will not appreciably increase the size of your video files. Okay, so how do we look at the information? Well, the simplest way to do it is with a program called VLC. It's free open source software that runs on both Mac and PC. It's from a nonprofit organization called Videoland and I will put a link in the description. Once you have VLC installed, just open it up and drag in your media. If you don't see the subtitles right away, go into subtitles, subtitle track, and make sure the appropriate track is enabled. With subtitles enabled, the camera and telemetry data are displayed as captions. For camera settings, you see aperture, shutter speed, ISO, and exposure value. The telemetry data includes GPS coordinates, distance, height, horizontal, and vertical speed. Now there is another way to get at this data using a free online subtitle extractor for DJI drones. To extract the data, go to the website, drag and drop your video file, and it will send you back the data in an SRT file. It does this without uploading your original file. SRT is short for sub rip text, and it's just a plain text, simple subtitle format. It's supported by YouTube and Vimeo, as well as advanced video editors like Final Cut Pro and Adobe Premiere. If you open the file in a text editor, you can see all the same camera and telemetry data that we saw while viewing the clip in VLC. There is one caption for each second of video. It begins with a caption number, followed by the time code, and then the actual data. So why is this information useful? Well, for me personally, I have used the subtitle data in the past when I needed to know the exact shutter speed and ISO of some clips for a particular video I was working on. I think in general, if you're just learning to shoot video, it can be really helpful to know the shutter speed and how that impacts the look of your footage. And of course, maybe you're just curious. That's a good reason too. But regardless of the reason, I think it's a really cool feature. I'm glad DJI included it. So yeah, get in there, dive in and just check it out. And that's it for this one, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up because that helps me out too. And as always, thanks so much for watching and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.